good morning students so this is your first class of production technology as you know production technology is a vital subject of mechanical engineering department so the first chapter of production technology is metal forming process metal forming process is a process where the work piece is reshaped into desired objects by the principle of plastic deformation so plastic deformation is a process where the body re- does not regain its original shape once the load is removed so by this principle the desired shape is obtained in case of metal forming but in case of machining material is removed to obtain the desired shape so in metal forming process the mass of the workpiece remains unchanged as only the shape is changed but the total volume of the material is utilized to obtain the desired object example of metal forming processes are extrusion rolling and many other process are there but in your syllabus extrusion and rolling is there so what is extrusion extrusion is a manufacturing process which involves forcing the work piece through a pre-shaped die to create objects with a specific shape and profile as you know die is nothing but a piece of metal which is given a particular shape so through the die if the material will flow it will take the shape of the die opening in extrusion process the billet is placed in a container post through a die opening using a ram or dummy block in this figure you will see the demonstration of extrusion before going to the demonstration of extrusion we will discuss about the application of extrusion where this extrusion process used this process suits best to the non ferrous metals and alloys although some steel alloys like stainless steel are also extruded extrusion of steel needs adequate lubrication around the billet a coating of finely powdered glass over the surface of hot billet is utilized for this lubrication purpose now we will discuss about that extrusion first we will discuss about types of extrusion or in other words classification of extrusion extrusion is classified in general into four types they are direct extrusion or forward extrusion indirect extrusion or backward extrusion impact extrusion hydrostatic extrusion so this is the figure of direct extrusion or forward extrusion as you see in this figure a cylinder is there to contain the hot metal that is known as billet and a plunger is here plunger and dummy block forces the hot billet to pass through the die opening so this is the extruded part we will discuss it once again so what is direct extrusion you have already seen in the figure this direct extrusion is most widely used method in this process the billet is heated to its forging temperature and fed into the machine chamber that is the cylinder 
where pressure is applied to the billet with the help of the ram and the metal flows in forward direction you have seen in the diagram the metal is flowing in the same direction as that of the ram and come through the die opening so in case of direct extrusion the extruded metal comes out of the die opening is in overhanging position so this overhanging extruded length is fed into a long support called the run out table so the last 10% length of the billet is left unextruded and this portion is known as discard and it contains surface impurities of the billet in forward extrusion the disadvantage is friction occurs between the heated metal and the cylinder walls the hot metal and the cylinder wall has a relative motion as the metal slides over the cylinder wall so at this place friction occurs because of the friction some metal scaling occurs which is a disadvantage of direct extrusion so the problem of friction is severe in case of steel extrusion because of their high extrusion temperature so in a nut shell in direct extrusion or forward extrusion the metal flows through the die opening in hot condition by the pressure of a ram or plunger which is contained inside a container that is cylinder as it flows through the die opening it takes the shape of the die opening the cross section becomes the cross sectional shape of the die opening and this extruded length is supported by means of a run out table so next we will discuss about the indirect extrusion so in direct extrusion as i told the friction is the major disadvantage so to reduce this friction lubricants are used at lower temperature a mixture of oil and graphite is used and for steel extrusion finely powdered glass is used as lubricant and as major part of direct extrusion is hot extrusion the billet is hot to reduce the damage to the equipment extrusion is finished quickly and the cylinder is cooled before further extrusion so this is indirect extrusion so what is the difference between direct extrusion and indirect extrusion from this figure if you compare with the previous figure in this case the ram or the plunger is a hollow ram you can see this ram is hollow through which the extruded metal will come so similarly we have a chamber or a cylinder a die and die opening the billet is contained inside the chamber but the only difference is here the ram is a hollow ram and the ram pushes the metal forces the metal towards the wall of the cylinder end wall of the cylinder by which the metal comes out of the hole through the ram so we will discuss this in detail so what is indirect extrusion indirect extrusion is a extrusion process where a hollow ram or plunger is used in this case the plunger presses the billet against the back wall of the closed chamber and the metal is extruded back into the plunger through the die 
it is termed backward backward extrusion because of the opposite direction of flow of metal to that of ram movement so direct extrusion is known as forward extrusion where indirect extrusion is known as backward extrusion it is very simple because in case of direct extrusion the movement of the extruded metal and the movement of the ram is in same direction but in case of indirect extrusion as it is already demonstrated the direction of the movement of ram is towards the end wall of the cylinder where direction of the extruded metal is away from the end of the cylinder that is in opposite direction to flow of the metal so this is known as backward extrusion advantage of indirect extrusion in this case the billet does not move inside the chamber there is no relative motion between the wall of the cylinder and the billet so there is no friction between them which was the major disadvantage of direct extrusion there in direct extrusion friction occurs between the wall of the cylinder and the billet surface but in this case as there is no relative motion between the billet and the cylinder wall there is no friction because of this less force is needed as comparison to direct extrusion better surface quality is achieved as there is no heat cracking happens between the billet and the extrusion cylinder interface so this is the disadvantage of direct extrusion but advantage of indirect extrusion but disadvantage of indirect extrusion are a more complicated type of equipment is required as the plunger becomes weak due to its hollow nature and the major disadvantage is supporting the overhanging extruded part as it comes out of a moving ram so this is another type of extrusion known as impact extrusion as the figure shows here it is a blind die and a punch the metal blank is kept inside the die that is known as work the center is line up and the punch forces the work suddenly that is why it is known as impact extrusion what is impact impact is nothing but application of force suddenly from a height as the figure illustrated the punch is forced the metal from certain height so this impact extrusion is nothing but cold backward extrusion this method is chiefly used for making small work pieces from ductile material in this case the material is placed in the position in a blind die and a ram with clearance is forced into the die so the metal flows plastically around the ram because of the impact force the side walls go straight along the punch though they are not confined with the help of this process collapsible medicine tube and toothpaste tubes are produced lead aluminum copper tin and other soft materials are used in this process so in this class we have discussed about extrusion it is nothing but a metal forming process so here the metal takes new shape by the principle of plastic deformation and considering the nature of application of force 
it is divided into direct extrusion indirect extrusion and impact extrusion so in you can differentiate these three types of extrusion advantages and disadvantages and application of these three types of extrusion